Hello guys, this is Michael from Making Systems. Now today I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on how to set quiz questions using the Wondershare Quiz Creator. Now let's first download the software. Now we open our web browser and go to this website makingassistance.com slash wondershare-quizcreator. I'll pop a link in the description. Now once you open the link now browse to the bottom of the page and click this download button right here to download the file now I already downloaded it so I'm not gonna do that again now once you are done downloading the file it will be a zip package right here so you can just open the zip package and extract the content of the zip on your desktop so you can just install the setup in the folder. Now once you install the setup, now I'm not going to go through the process of installing. I think that is very easy. So I'm going to go with um, opening the file right now. Now once you install the Wondershare Creator, you get this icon. Let's open the software. Okay, now here I'm going to go to create a new quiz. Now, of course, there are some other options right here, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to jump through to create a new quiz. Okay, so this is the work area of the software. Now, at the left pane right here, there are some, there are some question types, true or false, multiple choice, multiple response, fill in the blanks, matching, sequence, word bank, and what have you. So, uh, to begin certain questions, just choose any you like. Now, I want to start with multiple choice question. So, just double click on multiple choice. And here, you can set your question. So, it says right here, enter the question. So, I'm going to go with which of these is a word processor? Which of these is a word processor? So that is the question. Now, at the right side right here, that is your media panel. So I can add media files like images, audios, videos to accompany the question. You know, some questions are accompanied by some images and stuff so you can do that right here now at this section right here you can allocate your options so a b c and d so for option a i'm going to choose some random junk right here so car and then choose bars choose excel and then choose word for option d now at the correct section here that is where you basically allocate the correct answer to the question. So we all know the question, the correct answer is word. So I'm going to go with word. So you select D as the correct answer. Now once you are done with that, you go to the feedback session. At the feedback session, we have correct and incorrect. So what do you want to display when a student answers it correctly? So you can edit it. That's correct. Oops. <laughs> That's correct. Um, for incorrect, I want to choose this feedback. Oops. You got it wrong. So you can choose what you like. And at a point allocation, you can allocate a point for each question. Now, I'm going to go with one. <laughs> this is a multiple choice question. So, one for a correct answer and zero, zero for an incorrect answer. So, once you're done with that, you can click OK when you're done setting multiple choice questions or choose new question to set another multiple choice question. Okay, so I'm going to go with okay and choose true or false so you double click true or false to set a true or false question 
So at the end of the question section, uh, I'm going to go with this question. Um, solid is a state of matter, right? So that is the question. So the correct answer should be true, right? So true, selected. So feedback, I'm going to leave it as it is, correct for correct and incorrect for incorrect. And then allocate a point of one for a correctly answered question and zero for an incorrect question. Incorrect answer, I beg your pardon, and select OK. Now, once we are done, um, you can quickly publish the quiz. Now, before we publish the quiz, I want to go ahead to this player template session right here. week a very few settings so here you can basically change the layout of the quiz panel so I'm gonna change the toolbar to blue and change the highlight color to yeah so it is okay great so once I'm done changing all the settings, you click this save and close button right here. So we can just quickly publish. Now at the publish session here, we have so many options. We have web if you want to publish to the web, LMS, CD or EXC, and then Word or Excel. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna go with CD or EXC, which gives you the opportunity to publish your quiz in a CD format or in an EXC file extension format. Okay, so at the quiz title, I'm going to choose a title in a sample question. Sample, right, sample. And choose CD, EXC. Now I'm going to leave this unchecked because I don't want to run this on a CD. And once I'm done, I'll click publish. So I'll give it a minute for it to publish. Now let's open the folder and see what we have. Okay, so this is the sample quiz we created. So I'm gonna double click it to open. So total questions, two questions, full score two, passing rate eighty percent. Okay. So let's continue. Ladies and gentlemen, so this is your quiz. So let's let's go ahead and answer some questions to try my knowledge. So which of these is a word processor? Okay, let me go with word and click submit. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Now for the second question, solid is a state of matter. Now let me intentionally get this one wrong. Let's see. So I'm gonna go with false and click on submit incorrect oops i got it wrong <laughs> okay so once you are done let's oh it says sorry you failed oh ladies and gentlemen i failed so you can click on review to check what you had wrong and what you had correctly so that is that ladies and gentlemen now, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the video and tap on that bell icon to receive future videos, right? <laughs> Thank you very much and I'll see you again in the next one.